Hey guys, David Sandman back again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile. Uh, this will be my second one I've ever done, which is pretty cool. Um, the first one I did was the Ghost Trick deck profile that a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy, and it got over like uh, 2,000 views on YouTube, which is the highest video I've ever had, which is really cool. Um, but unfortunately, after that, I took a pretty big break. Um, so I'm here back again doing another deck profile because I saw that there was new ninja support announced. And the ninja cards have always been my favorite archetype, and Hanzo is like my favorite card. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go through my deck profile that I've been kind of playing with. Uh, just a heads up, I'm playing a much more pure version. Um, no, I'm not playing any uh, meta relevant <coughs> archetypes kind of splashed in. I just wanted to try and do it as pure as possible, just because it's just kind of the funnest route for me to play. Um, so if that's kind of your thing, stick around and check out the deck list. Uh, starting off, we have the Twilight Ninja Getsuga, the Shogun. Um, very great card, kind of like Goki Rematch and a monster effect. Um, basically, whenever you have it in attack mode, you can change it to defense mode. And special summon two ninjas from the grave. Obviously, the reason you want to do this is to abuse your Hanzo abilities, um, especially with the new ninjas coming in like Baku, who can special summon when added to the hand, so you'd go Shogun, into the Hanzo, into the Baku. And even into the Mitsu as well, if you double Hanzo. Um, so now we have two Twilight Ninja Jogan for our Pendulum plays, obviously. Uh, usually I run three of these, but the deck is just pretty tight right now, so I cut it down to two. Um, I just like running three because Jogan, while yes, he's a Pendulum, he's also a great extender if you have a uh, Ninjutsu art card in your hand. Or if you just have Hanzo in your hand, you can Hanzo, grab a Denjutsu Art, Special Summon Jogan, make a Zold, and then, you know, go from there. Um, and then the pretty standard Triple Hanzo, uh, the greatest card in the deck, best ninja card ever made, soft once per turn, so you can keep abusing his effects over and over and over again as long as you can find any kind of way to summon him. Which is kind of what I've been trying to experiment with. Usually when uh, I abuse him, I use the Zold stuff, which is pretty uh, normal. But I'm trying to figure out other ways to do it so I don't solely have to rely on the Azold play. Um, just because I feel like if they negate Azold or if they stop you from getting to Azold, you lose. So I'm trying to figure out other things to do. Uh, next up we have Musket Ninja Kagero. Uh, he's a warrior level 4. Um, he's pretty he's pretty decent whenever it comes to having to make your Azold. Or uh, if you do need to make your fusion, you can normal summon him and then special summon another potential like other uh, type ninja face down. Excuse me. Um, he's okay. I haven't really learned how to use him too well. Um, I might cut him down to one, but at the moment I was running two of most of the new ninjas to get a better feel for them. Um, but when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a ninja or a face down defense position monster, uh, quick effect, you can special summon this card face down defense, and if you do, return to the target to your hand, which is pretty cool, because then, like, you can, like, if it's Hanzo face down and they target him, you can return Hanzo to your hand, special summon him, and then when they end their turn, you can normal summon Hanzo, grab an Injutsu art, it's just cool things like that. Um, or you could even, uh, I'm pretty sure Bak, uh, Baku would work too, I don't know why you would want to do that, but yeah, that would work. Uh -huh. Um, next up, uh, we have the Double Twilight Ninja Shingetsu. Um, this is probably uh, two cards that people probably won't run in their ninja deck, and that's totally fine. Um, this is just, I've always liked this card. I just kind of wish that instead of its, like, because it says if it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you could add a ninja monster from your deck to your hand. I wish it was if this card was just sent, kind of like the green ninja. Um, if it just said it was sent, I feel like Shingetsu would be phenomenal. But basically the reason I run these two guys is because I like to get both of them on the board at once and have kind of like a soft uh, lock. Granted, they can still banish your ninjas. They can still um, use like Ragyaki or Lightning Storm on your ninjas. Uh, granted, the village, the field spell, can protect you from the Lightning Storm or Ragyakis, but him, as long as you have two of these, none of your ninjas can be attacked or uh, targeted by card effects. So they can't be... Um, like access code talked or dogmatic of punishment or you know just attacked so they kind of have to like find another way around to get, get around these otherwise they can't game you so and i've learned a way to do it using a war ninja horizon and the duplication to get both of them out in one turn 
So it's kind of, I don't know, it's a gimmicky play. It's like a win harder condition, but I, it's just something I personally enjoy and I definitely don't uh, like see these as a requirement in the deck. Uh, next up we have three Upstart Golden Ninja. I think Upstart Golden Ninja is a much more vital card in the deck um, than he used to be just because when he special summons he can put things face down, which a lot of these new ninjas require, you know, the face down stuff. So he's a great card. Um, one of my favorites, honestly. Uh, and then next up we have two ninja B or B Ninja Baku. He's very great. He's a great extender whenever you're searching around with Hanzo like over and over and over again. Um, and he's like also has the effect of the village that whether if he's special summoned, I can grab a ninja or a ninjutsu art card from my grave and add it to my hand. Which is you just you really feel like you're getting a lot of like extending plays whenever you're using him and Hanzo. Especially if you have him. If you if you <clears throat> special summon Hanzo, grab a Baku. Special summon the Baku, and you have Village in play. Search a card from the grave off of Baku. Search a card from uh, the grave off the village. Like you're just recovering a lot of cards, and it's really cool. Um, next up, we have the Shonen Jump promo, the Green Ninja. Um, I think his artwork is amazing. I think it looks really cool. But I don't like. I was running two of these, and perhaps there's just not. A, I'm not seeing it. But like, I don't think he's that great. Um, so I'm only running one of him. I have found other ways to use him. So like for example, obviously he's great like if you want to make Saizo. Or even in his ult. Because obviously when he gets sent to the grave, um, he can put a monster face down. Or if you wanted to even like fusion summon him with the green ninja and then the Mitsu. Or not the Mitsu, sorry. The Tabari on your opponent's turn. That way you can have sort of like an interruption. So you can fusion summon off the Tabari's effect with Green Ninja and Tabari, some of the War Ninja Ryzen, activate Green Ninja's effect because he went to the grave and put a monster your opponent has face down. So it can be kind of like an interruption, kind of like a like a ghost trick kind of thing. Um, yeah. But he's okay. Uh, I just, I don't know. I wish he had a, like a little more of to him, I guess. Um, but he's okay. Um, next up we have the Negating Ninja. We have the Insect Ninja Mitsu. Her negate is okay. Um, I feel like it is, it's easy to get out, but I've, at the same time, there are probably other things you could do that are just as good as like negates, like a solemn judgment or like a solemn strike, you know, but these are also searchable so that they have that on them, but also it's just a really good ninja extender as you can, uh, if you control a ninja or a face on defense, you can special summon this card from your hand. Um, also it's just great in any kind of flip deck. I run these in my ghost trick deck, which if you guys want to see that updated profile, just let me know in the comments below and I'll, uh, make a video for it. Um, then we have two fire Flint lady. Uh, she's just a, a general like warrior extender in case I need to get to his old, um, as his old is usually the primary, um, strategy for the deck. So that's what we go with. Uh, I just like her. She's a great card. Um, very great extender. And then we have Twilight Ninja Kagen, uh, the other Pendulum uh, Ninja monster. Uh, usually I would run the Karate Spirit, um, but I only run the Karate Spirit for two reasons. One, um, usually I would run like an Avian, so he's able to Pendulum Summon, because if you guys aren't aware, Kagen says that you can only Pendulum Summon Ninja Monsters, which, you know, kind of sets it back if you have something else good in the deck. Um, so you can't Pendulum Summon Avian every turn, but with Karate Spirit you can't. Also with Karate Spirit, they can't pop it because um, he returns to your hand after you Pendulum Summon. But I use Kagan because, like I said, I'm trying to find ways to n like not have to rely on his ult so much. And I feel like Hanzo can get me to the Jogan, to the Shogun, and the Kagan, which is like the 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 big strat, like the big combo. Um, so I feel like I can get to Kagan using all of the other new Ninja cards to get it to my hand. Uh, pretty quick, obviously, because the only way to get Karate Spirit is to draw it or to Izzled. So, and then last of the monsters, we use one Sky Ninja Tabari. Um, I think it's definitely the weakest of all the ninjas um, by far. <laughs> if it was a Wind, like because it's a it's a Wing Beast Earth. If it was a Wind and not an Earth monster, I feel like we could have used the uh, Harpy's Hand Trap. I don't remember what it's called, like Harpy's Feather Storm or something like that. Um, that would have been really cool to do, uh, but unfortunately, she's not a wind, so that stinks. Um, but I've, I've 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 used her effect a couple times, and I found her useful in situations where, if I had the War Ninja Mizen or the Mizen out, I would duplicate. 
because I would target him with something and I didn't want him to die. And I would duplicate him into like a Hanzo and then a Tabari. And then I would get a Hanzo effect and then I would just use Tabari's effect on my opponent's turn to make another War Ninja Mizen. Uh, I, I, I definitely think her ability has potential. I think it has more potential if we can get maybe one more fusion ninja. I don't know like if that'll ever happen because obviously it took probably like three, four years for it to get new ninja stuff, which is fine. It's not the most popular archetype. But I feel like I, I would love like a beefier, a bossier, like 3k beater, 35k beater ninja monster. And I feel like Tabari would gain more usage off of that. Uh, going into the spells, we have one Rota, pretty uh, self-explanatory. One Call by the Grave, usually I don't like to do this, usually I want to uh, capitalize on using every space in the deck as much as possible for combo plays, uh, but I just, I feel like people ash things so much and it's like detrimental that Call by the Grave is a must in a combo deck, so we run the one, obviously, because it's limited. Um, and then we run two Novel Ninja, two Art Book, I love this card. I was running three, but I think it was too much. But I think it's just cool that you ha you could potentially search up to two cards from the deck and or grave. Just the recovery on this card is amazing. Obviously, it's a little bit of a downside because you can't like you have to set the monster face down defense when you search him. Um, but man, I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool card. I think it has like a lot of potential. Personally, uh, I would rather run this over the draw power of the uh, notebook and the alchemy. Um. And then moving in, we're moving to the Izold equips. So we have DDR, obviously, because we banish a lot of things in this deck, and we can use the Sword of uh, the Divine Sword to banish things, and then use DDR to revive it potentially. Um, and then we use Moon Mirror Shield, Horn of the Unicorn, Divine Sword, because uh, Moon Mirror Shield and Horn of the Unicorn can actually recycle. Um, I'm sure a lot of people already know that. So like, if you draw them. You can equip them to your two warriors, summon Azul, they go back to the deck, and then you can ditch them off the Azul effect. Then we run the one Ninjutsu Art equipment, uh, Kanamagura. Kind of looks like Renji's sword from Bleach a little bit. Um, I don't know who that is. Is that the... Oh, that's the Mitsu character in the picture. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, this is a cool equip. I wouldn't run more than one of this. It's really not as great as it probably should be. Um, honestly, if they said if they made it to where you could, if it's sent to the grave instead of just sent from the field to the grave, it'd be a much more broken card because um, then you would send this off as old all the time. But it's not bad. It's, it's a pop effect, which ninjas need, in my opinion. Um, they do have pop effects in the dragon ninjas, but I just I think they suck, man. I think the cost for their effects are too much. Uh, then we run the one village. Uh, we only run one because it's just incredibly easy to search in the deck. There's no point in running two. You can run two because uh, I've had a bunch of people banish this card and I'm just kind of like screwed and I don't have another one in the deck. Uh, moving on to the traps, we ran nine traps. Usually I try to run ten, but we run nine here. Or wait, six, seven, eight. Oh, we run eight here now. I don't know what happened in the ninth one. Anyway, um, so we run uh, three impermanents. Um, this is just a personal preference. It's the only hand trap type card I run on the deck. Uh, you can easily replace this with Lost Wind or Breakthrough Skill since you're running the Upstart. Um, but this is the only hand trap I run because it is a trap um, and Upstart can ditch it if he absolutely needs to. And it's also just nice going second because I can just play it and negate uh, my opponent's big uh, problem card for me and then hopefully be able to play. Um, now we have the Ninjutsu Art of Shadow Ceiling. This is the removal card of the deck. Amazing card. Um, banish a monster uh, and tribute one of your ninjas. Very good. Um, very, very good. Um, and you can block off your opponent's uh, extra monster zone if you need to. Uh, and then we have the one Ninjutsu Art of Duplication. This is a card I've been experimenting with. Um, I, just, I think it's pretty neat being able to abuse Hanzo with this and you know just duplicating the war ninja Mizen, a jogan a shogun and just bringing it just swarming your field with ninjas i think it's very nice especially if you're trying to live or if, or if you're doing it on your turn then you can go for link plays um and then last up we have the ninja tar of fallen leaps dance um this card i probably use it the least out of everything um but it's not bad this card is the only ninja tour card that if you use the equip card and equip it to your opponent's monster you can use Ninjutsu Art of Fallen Leaves to uh, tar target that monster on their board. I'm pretty sure. And uh, you contribute it and then special summon uh, any ninja from the deck. Which is pretty fucking nuts, honestly. Anyway. 
Uh, moving on to the extra deck, we run the two War Ninja Mizen. I think that's just a good number, um, just in case he dies or if you want to duplicate him, you have another one on the deck. We have the two Blade Armor Ninja for the uh, direct attack OTK win condition, which is pretty good. Um, I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to incorporate the uh, number 12 ninja, the level 5 one, just because he makes things unaffected by car uh, or can't be destroyed by card effects or monsters, which is pretty cool. So you can't be Raigekied, but that's kind of why I use the Shingetsu stuff instead. Um, I use the Wandugaris to abuse Hanzo more. Um, this is just a part of the his old play kind of thing. Uh, you can also use it to draw as well if you need to. I've done that many, many times. Um, then we're going to go into the links. We run one Avramax, one Goki, one World Ocean Dragon, and one Appaloosa as my link fours. Uh, Avramax is like my go-to. I love this card so much. I know there are ways to get around it, and it's just kind of like a big beater. It's not a negate, which is like I know the more popular idea to do. But I just love this card. I just I like defense. I like cards that are like walls. Um, and I feel like he's very good, especially if you have like two Shingetsus and then you use the equip to make Avermax a ninja. I just think it's funny. Um, Goki Power Load Ogre is amazing just because any card that is unaffected by card effects is great. And obviously he can be a potentially a pop four, which is amazing. Uh, Appaloosa, Enchanted Gator. World Ocean Dragon, I'm still trying him out. I don't know how I like him. Um, I think he's very good. Um, just to be able to rearrange your opponent's field and then obviously you know his pop effect is great <clears throat> so especially since it's a quick effect uh, black cluster soldier is very good we you we run him solely because if we need to link off uh shogun or jogun um i guess you could even link off no you could do that but the shogun or the jogun just to get his uh can't be affected by card effects or whatever give me to sure by card effects or targeted yeah uh, then we run the one Saizo. You could probably run two. You could probably take out like a Blade Armor Ninja and then run two Saizo. Um, that would definitely be fine. But he's just a good ninja card. Um, I need to start summoning him in the main monster zone though to get the full effect of his other card. Yeah. <clears throat> but oh, he's run uh, one Phoenix, Nightmare Phoenix for back row pop. The one is old for the old play, one IP Mascarena. My general play with IP is literally just to make Avermax with her. Um, I just think it's a very, very good uh, defense. And then we run the one Cross Sheep for the War Ninja Mizen to abuse Hanzo even more. Cross Sheep and Mizen are kind of meant to be like, if I can't get his old, then we kind of abuse Hanzo a different way. Um, so going into the extra deck, it's very weird. Um, I just have two Solemn Judgments, just in, you know, whatever. Um, I have the su one Super Transformation, one uh, Regular Transformation. These are solely for if I want to change... Oh, I just lost it. What happened? <laughs> These are solely if I just want to uh, change the direction of the deck going second or third in the Game 2, Game 3. Um, basically, I would side in one of these... Um, with th these three targets, so my three transformation targets are Dark Samorg, uh, Miss Valley Apex Avian, and then Amorphage Goliath. Amorph Amorphage Goliath would be the super transformation target. Very good card. It can fuck you um, if you're not careful, but it's a very good card. And obviously, super transformation being pretty good because it is a... Uh, Removal and I'm actually now that I'm thinking about it now. I'm looking at the card. It says activate this card by targeting one ninja monster uh, One ninja monster you control. Never mind. You couldn't use the equip on your opponent's monster and then super transformation got it um, And then we run three anti-spell to kind of go with the dark smorg play and obviously just to help us for not being uh, Lightning stormed or anything like that and just to kind of slow down my opponent so I can have another turn to try and maybe OTK um, and then we run three Dark Ruler no more just because big negating boards and big interrupting boards are very detrimental to this deck. Uh, it can very it can hurt you very very bad. Um, just it's a, it's a combo heavy deck and there's a lot of pieces to it. So if you have if they have any kind of interruption on the board, primarily it can be uh, annoying. <laughs> so I run these. Um, and then we run the Barrier Statue of Stormwinds uh, for the he's another transformation target. Um, just to be annoying, man. Just to have some kind of like wind condition floodgate potentially. Um, <laughs> make him a ninja with this and then have the two Shingetsus on the board and you can't even attack this. Or if you have Ivermax out, you can't attack it either. So 
But yeah, guys, that's my decklist profile for uh, with the new ninja cards. I'm hoping they have a little bit more in the uh, Darkwing Storm uh, booster set. Hopefully. Um, I heard that there was like 50 cards that they still haven't announced. So maybe we'll get lucky and get another card that can kind of even go with it even more. Or just uh, a non-ninja card that they kind of made for these new ninja cards. I think that'd be cool. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have any really cool spicy uh, tech for the new ninja cards. I think they're fun. Um, and granted, I always try and play the most pure version as possible. Uh, just because that's what I prefer. And that's totally fine if you don't. If you want to splash in crawlers or sub terror or, you know, meta relevant cards, that's totally fine. Um, I just try and I want to use the cards Konami made. So that's kind of my whole thing. Plus, I just love all, like, I love all the ninja cards. I think they're so cool. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for checking out the channel and checking out the deck profile. If you guys want to see uh, my updated Ghost Trick deck profile with the Nist, uh, the Insect Ninja Me Too involved in it, um, let me know. Um, I know I don't make a whole lot of deck profiles. I kind of just I'm a very casual Yu-Gi-Oh player. I I make decks um, that aren't necessarily meta relevant, but are just fun and kind of off the wall. So if you guys want to see anything else, uh, I'm still planning on going to the local here in Oklahoma uh, with my Ghost Trick deck, and I'm going to try and record those full matches for you guys because I know some of you guys requested that. So, um, so hopefully we can do that maybe this coming week, and I'll have that uploaded to the channel, and hopefully we'll get a win. <laughs> um, if you guys would like to see some test matches with this Ninja deck, uh, just leave it down in the comments below, and I'll upload like a, maybe a series of 10 games uh, to YouTube this week if you guys would like that. So... Take care, guys. Have a great week, and I will see you next time.